Hey guys, I am Cassia Marine and I'm an online business and brand strategist helping you build your brand online. And on today's video, I want to share with you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes of a project that I did this year. You can call it a bit of a case study. So this year I had a past client come back to me to work on the branding for their new brand. So this client came to me this year to help them build a new brand. They started a partnership basically with a colleague of theirs. And the problem that they were experiencing is that many people in their audience, many people that they would work with, and basically they would just think that she was the owner and that their business part partner was an employee. So she came to me with that problem and she was like, no, 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 no. We are going to start a new brand and let people know that this is an equal partnership between the both of us. And so they came to me with the brand LTE, which is a play on their initials, their name. And they came up with LTE, which also has a double meaning of leveraging technology in events. So when they came with me with this vision and we did the strategy call and we did the strategy session and I gave them their brand homework and I got a feel of the essence of what they're going for, my brain immediately started to visualize and have a vision. And this is usually the case when I work with any client, like when they come to me with something and it's a project that I'm super excited about, my brain already starts to go, it starts to visualize. So I had a vision. I was like, okay, LTE. And I just keep, I, my creative process is in a way where I look at something and I just start to let the mind go and let it like play and see where it takes me. So I looked at those letters and I started to think, all right, they are trying to connect and leverage technology. So I want it to be inspired by technology. So as you will see, you'll see how the LTE started to turn into something that represented visually technology, the color scheme, how it was inspired, etc. So let's get straight into it and the solution that was provided based on their problem. Okay, so here we have their brand identity guidelines, right? So... You kind of start, so you might see it or you may not, but don't worry, we'll get into it. So the first part of my process, so before I, I walk you through this booklet, the first part of my process is to have a VIP day or a strategy session. So whatever I design or whatever that my team comes up with, the concept is always based off of strategic direction. All right, so I follow the concept of a one draft method because whatever that draft is, is the best solution based on what you're trying to accomplish. When people come up with two and three designs and 10 designs, how could that ever be strategic? Because now you're being led by emotion. Now you're being led by subjectivity. That's the thing with creative work. It's subjective. And we're not here to go over and make decisions for your brand based on what you feel like and what you um, just like, because that's subjective. We are creating a visual brand and identity for your business based off of your strategic goals, your mission, and your values. And that is important to do via a discovery session. So everything you're seeing here is built on the foundation of strategy. So as you can see here, LTE stands for leveraging technology in events. So what are your brand values? Your brand values is a representation of what does your brand stand for? So their core values and the message of their brand is love, trust, and excellence. This is what they stand for as people and as a brand. What is the mood and aesthetic? What is your brand's personality? So I love to use the analogy when it comes to branding that a brand is like a person, 
right? So just as every person is unique, so is every brand. The only difference is people are real entities, whereas businesses and brands are fictional. And we have the important mission to craft the personality of your brand. So when you're born, right? So this is the analogy that I use. When you are born, your parents give you a name, but you are a real entity, right? You have a face, you have a sound, you have the way that you speak, you have the way that you dress, the way that you walk, the way that you talk. But when you decide that I have this business idea, it's just an idea, it's fictional. And you make that a real entity by going and getting this business registered. And now it has a name, but it has no face. It has no sound. It has no personality. And people need something to connect with, something to resonate with. So now you have to craft this baby, right? So the act of creating your brand is kind of like, you know, your baby is in the womb and it's being, you know, it's being birthed. So this process here before it comes out into the world is actually when it's born, you know, and that's when, you know, you register the business, et cetera, et cetera. You give it a face, you give it a name, a sound, and how do you want it to resonate? Now you are building this brand, you're building this identity, you're building this baby to serve a specific purpose. So you're going to give it its unique sound it's unique messaging because this baby has a gift right so i as you can see here the logo is the face of your brand right the face then you have your brand element so we build out the visual ecosystem of the brand right so all of these are your elements your brand messaging right so your messaging is the voice of the brand the unique way that your brand speaks, its messaging conveying your brand's core values, mission, and purpose. Leveraging technology in events, creating memorable experiences that clearly communicate your objectives. They help clients create online event experiences that support their business goals and objectives. So here is the visuals and the brand photography. So all of this is creating that mood and aesthetic of the brand, right? This is why like visuals and your brand photography is so important. But before you can even get to all of that, who is your audience? Who are you speaking to? Who is your ideal client? Right, so your ideal client is a specific type of person who your business product or service is perfect for. Having one ideal client instead of many helps you understand what to offer them and how to market more effectively. So in their case, this is their ideal client. And if you're already an existing business and you've been operating and you've served a couple of clients, even that gives you insights into the data. So you might already have that data and you can just plug it in here. Right, so this is the content layout as direction. So let's get into the concept of the logo. So when I first sat down to conceptualize, I need my clients to, they get homework and they get an idea and then we create the mood board, right? So this sets the mood, the aesthetic. And because this is technology, leveraging technology and events like, This was one of the images that I wanted to have there. I really wanted to play with the lines, the structure of the LTE, because all I could think of was like in a computer, there are all this wiring and these lines. And that's where my brain started to go. Now I tried a whole bunch of things and some of it wasn't working. I knew what I wanted to like bring forth in my vision, but it wasn't working and that's normal and that happens, but you just kind of like have to like get it out, get it out. And you, you just create as many concepts until eventually this turned into this, that turned into this. So it's like, I liked where this was going, but it felt like from a design perspective, it felt a bit of an imbalance. So it's like, Cassia, what if you turned it this way? And then I was like, oh, okay. So if they are the leaders in events, in virtual events, 
this also represents a crown, right? So leveraging technology in events. So it's a crown, but it's also like the little circuit board thingy um, that you see. All right, I wish I should have put a reference image, image so you could see it side by side. But you know those like computer chips? That is what I was creating here. So after I got this design, I decided, all right, I really want it to look like those computer chips. So I put it in the gold and the blue and the gold is that like gold line and the shape of the box definitely mimics that, right? So we're embodying all of what everything when you're creating and developing a brand, it's so meticulous. There's so much attention to detail and you're bringing in all of these elements to bring forth a brand with meaning, a brand with purpose. So here you have the primary logo, the secondary one, the monogram that you can put on shirts, pens, you can use as a favicon on the website. And then the brand color palette. So where the blue actually came from is the merger of the previous brand. So one of the brand colors for the previous brand, which is TCG Management Company is blue. So this teal here is a merger of the other brand, which is pros and cons. So the two colors came together and it combined. And then the gold there is what we use instead of silver to represent that aspect of things. So then we have the main colors and their shades, your brand typography. So even the typography was very, very intentional. So Avenir is a geometric sans serif typeface, right? The name suggests, right, is French for future. Virtual events is of the present and the future. As the name suggests, the family takes inspiration from the geometric style of sans serif style, blah, 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 right? The next one is Freight Sans Pro. It's a web typeface. So for the website, so you can have both fonts for just like off web and just for web. And because when you're building a website, not all the time you have the fonts available to use that was built in your branding available to use on your website, you will find that sometimes when you're building branding that there are fonts specifically used for the website. So on the website, Freight Sans Pro was used as a substitute for Avenir and its humanist forms give a warm and friendly appearance. So here's the thing. When I was creating this brand, I was very mindful that as much as I wanted to have that technology feel, it's very easy, especially when you're using blue and you're using silver or white, blue and white, it could feel cold. So that's another reason why I didn't opt for silver, right? And instead gold. So I had to be careful to strike a balance between technology and that human aspect of virtual events. Because remember, we're leveraging technology to build community online and still have people connect while you know everybody is in their respective places remotely, right? So it's humanist forms give a warm and friendly appearance, perfect pairing for a digital brand needing to maintain a human touch. And the body text, we have Proxima Nova, right? It's a hybrid of Futura and, you know, that grotesque font combining geometric appearance with modern proportions, right? So we want to make sure that we keep the brand fresh, modern, clean, but at the same time, we're making sure that it has the human touch. And here is a quick walkthrough of their online home for their brand, their website. So we're just going to go through this very briefly. Um, I have a framework that I use. My clients get a content planner to help them really think strategically about the content that they put on the website and the process and journey that they walk through their visitors on their website. So it's basically LTE is two powerhouses in their own right coming together 
to create one. So their brand represents what they both bring to the table. It is Lizelle and Tisha embodied a fusion of rationality and creativity to produce excellence. All right, so that is a quick walkthrough of the brand project and the brand development process behind the LTE brand. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to click subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and share this video as well as get in touch if you want to learn more about how I can help you with your branding. You might not be starting from scratch like these lovely ladies, but it doesn't mean that your brand may not could do it a refresh. It could do it a rebrand. Let me know. And also comment in the comment section below and let me know what you thought of this process. I would love to get your feedback.